It's day three in Boracay. Day three or day two? I don't know anymore. But Fabio is not here because he went to the gym. He's been so up on his game. I stayed at the coffee shop all morning to edit some vlog, do some personal work. And now we're gonna start the day. I think I'm gonna meet Fabio now for lunch. So I'm just packing my stuff. This is my travel bag, my fanny pack, sunscreen, portable charger, things like that. Um, so for the first time since our trip here in the Philippines, I feel like it's the first time that it's gonna rain. It's a bit cloudy. But it's actually not gonna rain in this area. The clouds mostly. The clouds over there. But anyway, I'm gonna go meet Fabio now. He's finished with the gym. And we're gonna go eat. It's already 2 p.m. I'm hungry. So Fabio is done working out. He said he did arms. How was it? Guys, he killed me. Oh, because he hired a personal trainer too. Yes. So basically I booked a personal trainer because I was very curious. I'm dedicating time to myself. And I was like, you know what? Let's, let me just book it. Because I'm doing this type of workout. And, <laughs> and uh, I, I want to change it up. I want to see what's up out there. So I booked him for one hour. And by the way, he kept me there for one hour and 30 minutes. And then the first thing I told him was like, tomorrow, I don't want to be able to move my arms. Oh my I want God. you to kill me so much of that course. tomorrow I will not move. And he said, yes, sir. No problem. Like, he was so chill, but such a cool guy. What a vibe. Fabio has to eat because he's been working out. So we need to find him some protein and he doesn't even eat anything meat anymore. So something seafood so one thing we noticed about Boracay it's so expensive a dish could get to 600 pesos here easy, easy. 700 pesos oh my That's god crazy. this is pork siniga pork siniga what is it? what is it? muscles siguro muscles kore kate muscles yung tahong oh muscles yan it's pork oh pork Kasi seafood lang kinakain na ito eh. Ah, seafood Maybe next time they will be back. Yes. But they, they look you. very nice though. Yeah, if you want. I like Lunch. Marami kayong seafood eh. Pili lang kayo doon sir. Ah, yung fresh cooking. Okay. Thank you, they will be back. Somebody commented that Fabio is gonna miss a lot of Filipino food because it's mostly meat. It's true. Guys, but it's okay. No, it is really true. And I think mine is a miserable life, to be honest with you. Miserable. Because I see all this deliciousness. And because I ate meat in the past, I know exactly how good it can be. Because I can smell it and it's so delicious. And you know, Filipino food with meat is amazing. Oh my God, and I know the flavors are good. This is our journey every single time we want to eat. What about here, the lunch buffet? My lunch buffet pa kayo te? Pwede yung ma-check yung food. Thank you. Under to 30. See if Jerry's is gonna be the winner for Fabio. Blue Marlin's Day. Wow. Oh, for sure. This is like seafood here. And they have tortang talong if you want not talong. So I noticed that the cheapest food option here is like the franchise one. So you have manginasal. You have andoks, which I tried last night, which was amazing. The rest, it's like they have to cook the seafood for you and it's kind of expensive. Oh, butter garlic. With rice. You've been having milkfish. Bangos. Oh, is that it? Tuna. You haven't had tuna. Grilled, sinigang, sweet, sweet and sour. And sour I love, I can eat whatever. But do you love? I love. Or do you prefer? Yeah, yeah. I love. Let's go here because it's you really. I don't. Okay, so we found this restaurant which is a bit affordable, which is okay. Um, we forgot the name of the restaurant, but we're it's here. A Hotel Del Sol or something like that. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Hotel Del Soleil. Soleil. And we have this nice beachfront view, which we're gonna people watch. So while we were sitting here, just people watching, waiting for our food, the manager of this hotel saw us and he actually watches our vlogs, so it's crazy. Shout out to you, El Franco. Ed Franco, right? Yes, and we're here at Le Soleil de Buracay. Yeah, we're not staying here unfortunately, but we are just we're eating, eating lunch. Here. <laughs> Guys, this looks absolutely delicious. Are you happy? So we're here at Le Soleil and here is my sweet and sour tuna. 
250 grams of tuna. Period. I worked out for an hour and a half and I'm dead. Period. We need some protein. Look, that looks good. And it comes with rice as well. Welcome to Fabio Eats. <laughs> so maybe it's like, it's a sweet and sour fish, but I don't know if it's like, it's capiche. I don't think this is like traditional Filipino. It's probably like a bit influenced. Oh, oh, is this? Let me get a nice, big, chunky bite. Sweet and sour tuna. Love. Is it nice? It's so dramatic. <laughs> Almost flip the whole table. Oh, is it nice? Ma you must try. Mm. I can't wait. Feed mm. me, feed me, Nina. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, oh my god isn't it? Mm. Mm. It's not fishy at all. Not fishy at all. I like you, you're so fishy. <laughs> Oh, we're not just saying this because we met the manager. I got pork barbecue. It smells so good. I'm so excited. I'm going to try the pickle radish. Yeah, that is... Um, I forgot the name of that in Filipino language. Please comment below. By the way, Google Translate doesn't say Tagalog. It says Filipino for yeah. your language. Just so you know. So there's confusion in the world about the name of the language, mm. apparently. Very delicious. What do you call this again? Oh wow! Comment below, guys. I forgot the name. Mm. This you like it's it? It's nice and sweet and right? a little bit of um. Mm. Oh. It's a little bit. Oh. <laughs> What's your food? Shout out to Ed Franco. Thank you for having us in your restaurant hotel. You know what? I haven't had this much protein since the moment I arrived in Boracay. Correct. I am so happy that tuna steak was amazing. So guess where we're going next after eating lunch? Yes, we are. And there's no judgment here, okay? We're going to eat Jollibee. Because <laughs> we are craving fries. We're craving yes, fries. Yes, we are. Maybe I get Jollibee ice cream. Jollibee. <laughs> after lunch, Jollibee lunch. <laughs> After lunch, Jollibee. Listen, guys, sometimes you just gotta do it, okay? Don't just come for gotta me. Gotta do it. Leave me alone. Who do you know that goes to lunch and after eating that lunch goes to lunch again? Hey, it's me. me. I'm the problem. Is me. This is addictive, guys. This juice. No, but you have a bad throat, so you cannot eat it because it will just worsen it. So it's all mine. Mm. Love it it's so much. Really, we were only here for the fries, but you know, shit happens. <laughs> Things happen. Vlog update after lunch number one and after lunch number two, Jollibee. Now we're having coffee in this very fancy place that I'm obsessed with. I look at the view. Shit, did I see wow, you look beautiful. Thank you, guys. You do. <laughs> I just told Yanni, we need to vlog tonight because I feel myself. We're looking for dinner. <laughs> We're looking for dinner. In our evening here, third evening here in Boracay. What a place. We've been resting a lot. It's it's perfect. We eating had to. And resting, eating and resting. We had to because we're tired. Hi! Look who we found today! Hi! 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 Today, I'm, the, I'm at the falafel Boracay and I got the best seller, the falafel, and it's spicy. And you know me, guys, I love spice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, this is good. So many times I've tried to do falafel, they never turn out good for me. This is delicious. Oh my god. Yeah. So the thing with me and Fabio is he is vegetarian, that's why we had to go get his food first. But I want mang in a sack. So I wanted to. Guys, look how sweaty I am. This is crazy. It's hot, even though it's at night. After this, I want to try the mango ice cream because I've seen everybody eating it. And of course, you guys, this food looks amazing. Look at this. OMG. I'm so excited. It's my first time trying. I'm trying many Filipino food as much as possible when I'm here in the Philippines. I'm going to recreate Fabio. This is how Fabio tries food. Hey, guys, first bite. Ready. And then no commentary, nothing. 
not one word. All this drama for nothing. So good. So after our dinner, we're gonna get dessert. And it's gonna be at a different location again. I feel like we just eat today. We eat. We and eating. we are actually going to that mango ice cream because everyone, we keep on seeing it and there's always a lineup and I've been wanting to try it. So today's the day. It looks really delicious. So we're getting one each. Yanni always wants to share, but then I end up with nothing. Go. Dessert. Guys, the one we, that we got is called the mango hall. Mm. Let's see if it's the sweetest mango I've ever tried. Bitch. Love. Right. You must have added some syrup yeah. because I don't know why it's so sweet. Yes, it is too sweet to be natural. I don't think <laughs> yeah. it's possible.